Good morning again. I hope you all are doing good. Yesterday we started with lesson 2. How does force affect motion? Let's continue with the rest of the pages 334 and 335. Force. A force is any push or pull. Force means push or pull. When you push or pull any object is called force. Force can change an object's position or direction of its motion. For example, when you push the door, you are changing the position of the door. Then the door is in motion. At the same time, when your friend pushes the door from the other side, he is changing the direction of its motion. Means he is changing the direction of an object's movement. Friction Friction is a contact force that goes against motion. Friction can cause a moving object to stop or slow down. Friction is a contact force because when two objects touches each other or rub against each other, friction happens. When one object touches another object to give a force on it, then it's a contact force. Friction will stop or slow down the object. As I have explained you, when two objects touches or rub against each other causes friction. If the bicycle can move faster on smooth surface, it has less friction. If the bicycle stop or slow down on a grass surface, it has more friction. Guess where you can skate faster? On a smooth surface or on a rough surface? Yes. Smooth surface because of less friction. It is hard to skate on a rough surface because your skate will stop or slow down by the friction. Motion and combined forces. Pushes, pulls and friction can change the motion of objects. Look at the first picture, the boy is pushing the car. When he pushed the car, the car can move. If he push harder, it can move fast. But if he push with less force, it cannot move fast. Now second picture, the man is pulling the cart. So the cart can change motion. It can move faster or slower from the force that the man gives. Third picture. In A, the boy is skating on the snow. In B, the boy is sliding down on the grass. Guess in which he can move faster? On the snow or on the grass? Yes, in the snow. Because of the less friction and the grass has more friction so he will be stopped or slowed down. In this slide, look at the first picture. Now, think about pulling on a rope in a game of tug of war. Your team's pull is a force in one direction, the pull of the other team is a force in the opposite direction. If the forces are equal as in the first picture, the rope does not move. Now look at the second picture. The team members are not equal on both the sides. One team has three boys, the other team has only one boy. How can this one boy can win the game? If more people join his team, he can pull with greater forces. The pulls of every one on his team combine to move the rope in his direction. But what if even more people join the other team? Their pull combined to move the rope in their direction. The rope will move in the direction of the stronger force. Now look at this picture in this slide. Guess which team can win the tug of war game? Team A or Team B? Yes. Team A. How do you know? Because T 
team A has more members than team B. Team A has greater force than team B, so team A can only win the game. This is what we call it combined force because there are many forces act together to win the tug of war game. This is what combined force. Many forces can cause a bicycle to change its motion. What forces do you use when you ride a bike? Your legs push on the pedals or you shift your weight and push the handlebars to turn left or right. Friction between the bicycle tires and the ground slows your motion. When the cyclist go uphill, he has to pedal with more force. But when he go downhill, he speed up. He has to use the brake to slow down. When he use the brake, the wheels of the bicycle rubs against the ground to slow down. As you move forward, the wind pushes against you. The wind blows in the opposite direction of you. But you keep pedaling to move forward. Thank you. We'll continue with the rest of the pages tomorrow.